Come in. I'm sorry. That's booby. And jumpy and ghosty. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> knocked him over when I tapped his little foot. <laughs> that oh no was said with such conviction, I thought something really terrible That's happened. because I really like this guy. I don't like it if he lands on the floor. I think he's such a good guy. Yeah. Cutie. Uh, okay, so shout out to the big uh, homie Art. Um, as you guys know, we have a $75 partner tier where you can get your song bumped to the front of the line. Front of the line! Well, top of the list. Top of the list! There is a difference. There is a difference! <laughs> anyway, but if you're... Wait a minute, when is this going out, going out tomorrow morning? Tomorrow. So that means, yes, we are having a rockathon. Rockathon! Which is, we have somebody in our community that is in, in a little trouble right now. They could use some extra cash. And so we decided that... Um, rather than just saying, hey, you guys want to help this person out? We were like, hey, what if we give you something while you give to them so then you won't feel like you're happy. You're losing out so much, maybe. So, Doc. We will put out for you, for them, for all of us. 100%. So, we are going to do a rockathon. That means, literally, we are going to be reacting to songs just straight on a live stream. So, if you want to have your song reacted to, you send us a, um, a PayPal payment at vinandstorymerch.gmail.com. Yep. Rachel, I got you. And in that same thing, put what song you want us to react to. So we know who you are and what song, okay? Our and song. if you want your name shouted out in the song that it's for you, let us know what name you want to go by. Say shout out, blah, 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 whatever. So if you don't want your first and last name in there. We also have a limited edition Fear Inoculum CD, which one of our amazing... This one, man. Whew. Uh, somebody's got a limited edition Fear Inoculum CD. They're going for about 65, yes. 70 bucks on eBay. They're going to auction that off to, to further the cause. And um, if you're wondering, when is this deal going to happen? It's happening tomorrow. This Friday. Because this video is going right, on Thursday. It'll be, so it'll be Friday, Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and it's indefinite. So if we're there for twelve hours, we're gonna be we're gonna do a rockathon for twelve hours. Uh, it, you might just get thin. It I might be know. it might be yeah, right right. It might be one hour, but if it's twelve uh, it's hours, not, it's not one hour because there's already a list of songs piling up. Right. If it's twelve hours, we're gonna do it. It doesn't matter. So um, we're really 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 serious about this. So um, okay. So this is Pearl Jam. Just breathe. Let's do it. Oh my goodness gracious. Do they have like DoorDash that delivers like uh, Starbucks or something for that day? Yeah, we'll, we'll be sufficiently caffeinated tomorrow. <laughs> okay, ready? Babe? Go! Go! Do you hear something? Understand that every life must end home. As we sit alone, I know someday we must go home. Yeah, I'm a lucky man to count on both hands the ones I love. Some folks they got one, the yeah, others they got none. Home. Just breathe. Aww. At this time, my sins never gonna let me win. Under everything, just another human. in this world to make me believe Stay with me You're all I see Did I say that I need you Oh, did I say that I want you Oh, if I didn't I'm a fool, you see 
No one knows this more than me Cause I come clean I wonder every day As I look upon your face on Whimsical. That was a good one. Whimsical. That was a good one. I liked it. Yeah. It like yeah. A sad sort of sound to it. Yeah, he had the... You know who picked this, right? Art, art the art. one that's far away from his family right now. Yeah. I feel bad for him. I could have used... Like, you miss your wife, don't you? <laughs> I could have used... I could have used some Eddie Vedder in my life a couple yeah. years back. For sure. That would have mm -hmm. been helpful. Uh, I, you know, the, the ride up to the airport was always, uh, I hated it. I hated it. And then going where I needed to go, then I was like locked yeah. in, Let, let's go, you know, meet my folks and do what we need to do. But the, the, the ride to the airport was always the worst. Always the worst. It yeah, was all, you usually were, at night or early morning. Go ahead. You were like a different person. Like on the drive there, like you would slowly, and then all of a sudden you would be like in another space be like goodbye yeah i had to lock in man i yeah. had to lock in but uh it's it's tough you know going away but I, I i don't think that i don't think this is about traveling anywhere but oh no i don't think so either i think it's about people dying somebody died i understand that every life must end and then he says, meet you on the other side. Yeah. So the first line is, every life must end. Then meet you other, on the other side. It's like sandwiched. Yeah. You scroll back up to the top, please. Um, as we sit alone, I know someday we must go. Stay with me. Let's just breathe. See, I didn't think that the person was dead. I thought that they were like either dying or close. You know what I mean? Cause he knows that every life's gonna end, but as we sit alone, like it's just the two of them. Just stay with me, just let's just breathe. Like, I don't even know necessarily that they're close to death, but like there's times where, like when we're together and I'm just like listening to you breathing and stuff and I just want you to stay like forever. Like I know that one of us inevitably will die before the other one and I never want us to be separated. So it's, I have like that, you know, and, and it's just like right now we're good. You know what I mean? Like right. we're both here right now. Right. So, you know. Right. Um, this is an interesting line. I'm a lucky man to count on both hands the ones I love. Mm -hmm. That could be looked at two different ways. He could be saying that some numeral of 10, th that he is lucky to be able to have, you know, that many, eight, eight, not, that many people to love. Or he might be saying the fact that it's a small number is a blessing. To me, there's there's a very very small number, especially like this category of love. I'm happy that um, I can count on one hand. <laughs> the, the the love in this category in my life, and obviously, you know, you are singular in the way I feel about you. But I, I'm very happy that I didn't have like 
18 relationships where I like gave my heart to somebody, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Uh, so I think that that's a, I feel very, very fortunate about that. Mm -hmm. um, so that, that, I just, that just struck me as an interesting line, mm -hmm. you know, because I do think that those types of loves can probably get diluted after a while. You know Which what I mean? Types? Well, like the this type of love. I'm assuming it's like the relationship type mm -hmm. of love that he's talking about. That's and what I, I got. I out think of it. that if you have too many of those, it can get diluted after a while because you're like, oh, I I went through this with Susie, you know, yeah. And, yeah, and then it happened again, then it mm -hmm. happened again. Yeah. Like I, <laughs> this guy named Corbin, at a job I used to work in one time, and and uh, he was he wasn't like a completely attractive guy, but he. <laughs> He was just—he was just running through the entire organization. Oh you know, my gosh! I mean, he really was. And then he would—he'd always be like, "I'd be hanging out with him in the lunchroom," and he'd be like, uh, "Yeah, man." This, and he was like from Cali. He had a tongue ring. I mean, he was—he was like the stereotypical. He's like, "Yeah, man, I—I I really love this girl." And da, da 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 da. And I was like, "Oh, that's cool, bro." Da da da. And then like a week later, we'd be in the lunchroom. He'd be like, "I'm not happy, man." Not happy. <laughs> not happy. <laughs> it's like this big emotional thing, and then he just drop her, and then he like a week later, oh man, I found the one. And I was just like, Corbin, you're just you're just in love with the feeling. Wow. You know, like, and he was. And after a while, he basically said, Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, you're probably right. I just like the feeling. That like new. Yeah. Uh, mm, mm. Uh, uh, you're different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He loved that, but he, he that was yeah. that was the sum total of of uh, Corbin's, uh, yeah. you know, whatever. So, um, and I think that by the, to me, it'd be like, well, if you keep having those situations, eventually you're gonna run into the one, right? Eventually you're gonna run into your soulmate, but it's like, how you know you've ran into your soulmate if you've done this 18 million times already? You know, mm -hmm. like, how do you know it's not just another? Mm -hmm. You know, thing. And this one's gonna stick. And how does it stick? I mean, I think he eventually got married, so one of them stuck. I'm, I'm not sure, but you know, I've always been like very, 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 very guarded about like who gets into that chamber mm -hmm. because you know, for a lot of reasons. But one of them is I, you know, I didn't want to dilute it. You know? hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, that makes sense. I never had that mindset. Yeah, so he said, some folks just have one, yeah, others they've got none. I didn't realize I had more chambers than what I thought. Like, Maybe. yeah, you know, like, the depth that you, you know, like, okay, I love that person. Oh, that relationship wasn't, you know, and then you love that the next person. But then, like, with you, there's something, there's, it's like there was like, oh, there's another, <laughs> there's another room here. Right. I didn't know about. Right, right. You know, which when you're young, you know, people always tell you there's other fish in the sea, yada, yada, yada. And I think that that's true and not true simultaneously, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, my previous relationship, like, I was, yeah, I was like, man, that's, I'm, I'm out of here. I'm going to go join a convent. And that's the end of it. Like, that one, I, I gave a lot for that one. And uh, it obviously didn't work out very well, so... So I was, I was, I was out of it. I was out of the game. That's it. I'm out. You know? <laughs> I'm out. And then you, you were, Rawr. so. <laughs> That's what I did. Yeah. And then you are yeah. like, okay. You made that weird noise. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just being grateful for the simple things. Mm-hmm. Especially him, you know, he's... You're you're in a rock band. You're legendary. You're one of the few that made it out of the grunge, grunge era alive. Mm -hmm. um, buried a couple of your famous friends. Um, you begin to appreciate over time mm -hmm. what's really important. I was, you know, we were shooting something. I forgot what channel it was for, and you were like, "Wow, we're deep," because we had all the kids here and everything, and the baby was here. And that all actually, that. that you'll see that. That's patrons go check out. Patreon because I'm, I've been uploading videos and there's actually a fun one about a mouse that I just put up there But you see all of us in that video and it's yeah. I think it's so cute because I'm like, oh my word We are we're deep. We got yeah, we're a crew man. Yeah, and, <laughs> and you just you know 
I've literally been been around the world and done some pretty exotic stuff and but yeah, at the end of the day, man, like it's that the simplistic stuff about your family and your especially you being around you and and um it was funny, Bush, President Bush, you know, second Iraq War Bush, um they they have some presidential thingamajiggy and he was reading this poem about his wife and the wife his wife was the bump in the bed, you know, whatever and he, and it was just a simplistic kind of poem, but I was like, I was like, yeah, it's the simple stuff like that. I would, I would miss that, you know. I like sometimes I come in the room at three or four o'clock in the morning and like, you know, I see you asleep. I'm like, I always get mad. I tried last I, night. I, I always get so angry, and then I'm like, it's four o'clock. Like, what in the world? And I waited up for you. You, you know? just were taking so long in and, the shower. And you know, we were supposed to we were supposed to boot the baby after three months, but I'm glad the baby's still in the room. <laughs> that makes me very happy. But like, the bump in the bed, and the the bed's warm, and and you know, there's a little bump, and you're on your side, and I'm on my side. It's, <laughs> you know, we've we've done, you know, like I said, I've done some pretty, you know, exotic stuff, and we've 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 been able to do things that a lot of people, you know, yeah, would, you know in this world that we're in and also the religious world like yeah. we've done some pretty incredible stuff but at the end of the day it's like man I'll play video game, play Fortnite with the kids uh, mm -hmm. have a good dinner sit down chat talk you know it's uh, it's the best thing in the world and then being able to homeschool the kids and all that like it's just really really the simple stuff but when you're young and you have all these dreams and all this oh. stuff and and like you know the, the the life that I have now would have been an absolute it would have been a death sentence to me if I would have showed myself this 15 years ago I would yep. have been like oh my gosh jump yep. off a bridge like you know like literally like I remember like I used to I turned like 20 21 and I was like I hadn't accomplished anything significant yet and I was like oh man you know I had <laughs> by the time I was 21 I had done some pretty incredible stuff but you know I, would, I would, you know mm -hmm. I just had this you know but I had to get that stuff out of my system you know I had to in order to appreciate this do your birthday still make you sad no when did that change uh, probably after we did that thing downtown where I was like okay you know because oh, really because cool. during that time period there are other things going on parallel to that right you know, where I was, you know. Yeah. So I had, like, my hands in, you know, the Jesus. top <laughs> I know, I'm one percent of, yes. of both worlds yep. and the stuff that, that I was doing. So I was like, yes, there is a reason for me to be alive. Uh, okay. You know, I might die today, but yeah. there's a good reason I'm alive. Mm. So, yeah, yeah, I used to think, like, man, my, my entire life is meaningless. I've done nothing significant. Um and now, you know, I have done those significant things, and so, and, you know, my brother, my, you know, my brother's kind of the same way, only he's more idealistic. I, because of the circumstances around my birth and all the mm. dramatic things that happened around that, there was a lot of, like, yeah. you're here for a reason. Yeah. And on the one hand, it, like, kept me alive in, in, in you know, situations where I was struggling with my mental health, but on the other hand, once I got over that hump, yeah. it then kind of became this kind of specter that I had to chase to try to justify all the miraculous stuff that happened, you know, because I didn't want to be a waste, so it, it kind of wow. drove me to be like, I've got to, if I'm doing something, I've got to be in the 1%, you know, so I've got to be the 1% here, and if we're doing something down in that area, it's got to be 1%. It's got to be something that nobody's ever done in the hardest area, mm -hmm. which we did. Mm -hmm. And we were... So it's, it's like, okay, like I had to get past that to the point where the satisfaction that I feel in... Well, I mean, we've done, you know, we've made the news. Mm -hmm. And my friends have made the news. And, mm -hmm. and we've done things that people are seeing like on TV and, yeah. and we'll read about in history books and yeah. things of that nature. So it's like, I had to, I had to take part in that stuff to realize that none of that stuff really matters to me except for the bump in the bed and the video games with the kids. Aww. But if I didn't have that, then I couldn't appreciate yes. that. Yeah. So it's, that's the paradox. Yeah. It's a paradox of life, man. Yeah. You know, and, and, uh, that's, 
that's the crazy thing about people like Eddie Eddie Vedder, right? Where you know he did it, he made it. You know, you're you you you're at the top of the you're top of your craft, and mm -hmm. and it's and the song was kind of simple in and of itself, very very simple song, and yeah. I, I think that the musicianship and things like that, you know, I think that's on purpose, right? To 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 kind of set the backdrop of yeah that type of simplicity. Yeah, but. Yep. You know, this is a song where 10 years ago, I'm like, oh my God, turn this off, please. <laughs> what in the world? Yeah. Just pretty, like, I'm a fan. I liked it. <laughs> like, you know, like, the, that wouldn't have appealed to me, but now now it does, you know. Mm -hmm. And I don't think he could have wrote this song 10, 20 years prior to when he wrote it. You know, I think he had, you yep. have to, you have to kind of... Go through some things. Go through those things to really yep. appreciate the simple... I remember, like, one time... I was really young. I was watching Braveheart and he basically gave the speech and he basically said I don't want to be at war I want to be on my farm and and I was like what <laughs> no no sir mm -hmm. no sir I want to do jihad like let's you know I, I couldn't I, I couldn't understand how yeah. he could say something like that and now I get it and yeah. I've, I've run into dudes that are like stuck on that stuck on that yeah and it's crazy because they do have families but they're just stuck on it on the on the other thing it's like and I, I don't judge him I just I just I'm very very grateful that you know I'm very grateful for what, what I have this is the happiest I've ever been in my life I'm very grateful that you're here as well <sighs> this is yeah definitely the happiest and and it's crazy because I felt all this pressure to do something meaningful in my whole life you know and and then and we did and then we let it go and I said, I'm just, you know, there was a definitive moment in my life about, I don't know, a year and a half, two years, maybe close to three years ago, and I said, man, screw all this. I've done my part in saving the world, figuratively, literally, and theologically. Like, I'm done. I'm going to focus on my family. Like, screw everybody. I'm just, Forget it. Mm -hmm. Like, that That was kind of my wow. mindset. And, you know, like, that's it. Like, I'm out. I'm done. I did it. I did. I did. I've done 10 lifetime worth of whatever. I'm not doing anything significant anymore for anybody else. I'm just going to love my family and hang out with them for the rest of my life. I did my time, you know, and then <laughs> so we're, and we're sitting around and hey, let's watch a video. And that's how the channel started, you know, and and we're doing really significant stuff now. You know, mm -hmm. we were in a car when Zonia called me up and told us about the fear inoculum thing and that's been with me like every moment since I heard about it it was just so touching I was in the shower I was talking to God about it in the shower I was crying about it in the shower it was just very very like oh my gosh like Tool hasn't come out with a record in 13 years you know so the, 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 the point is yeah. is yeah. is just because you embrace a simplistic you're talking life, about the person the person who did it it was it, yeah it was the yeah. person donating that like yeah. that's you know, to wait for it that long to get it, and then to say I'm going to give this away, yeah, is uh, is was just. Mm -hmm. I've seen really ugly, ugly, ugly sides of human nature and the ugliest sides of my own nature. Mm -hmm. But I, but I've also seen, particularly with this channel, I don't think I've ever seen the beauty of of, of a human being more than just in the last year, year and a half in this channel. Oh. And so my point in saying all that is simply to say just because you have a life oriented around the simplicity of, you know, your family and things like that does not mean that you still cannot do something to contribute to the world right. in a significant way. Right. Right. So that's the point of that. So yep. There you go. So it's a, it's a, but it's also kind of a regretful song. Did I say that I need you? Did I say that I want you? Oh, if I didn't, I'm a fool. Mm -hmm. No one knows this more than me as I come clean. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Well, I think that, I think that everybody could say that, you know, you don't always tell the person how much they mean to you. You don't always tell them, you know, how much, that. telling you how much you mean to me. Yeah. Oh, I don't feel like I'm very good at that. You were uh, you were under the influence a couple uh, days ago, and you uh, you were letting it all out. <laughs> it's very interesting. When I was all mad. 
I crawled to the back seat of the SUV, I, I was like, the next day I was like, wait, was I? I had no idea how much I was. She, we were sharing a drink a with somebody else. Did you else. take a picture of the fishbowl? Uh, honey, I really don't remember anything. Yeah, I think I did. And you put it up there, they yeah. could see. She she killed about 85% of the But this. I didn't know how much but I was the, killing. For Dolo, by herself. She kept saying, oh, let's drink more and more and more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I didn't really feel like it was like affecting all, me all that much. And then all of a sudden, it freaking hit me like a ton of bricks. And then I just melted down. Yeah, so you expressed how, how you felt. Feeling. So you were being facetious when you said that I'm good at letting you know how I feel about you. No, no, because you do. I, I feel like I feel like you love me. You know, I like, do. Yeah, so. When I touch your head, that means I love you. Okay, good, good. Um, you give it a song? I give it a 9.3. A solid, solid, solid 9 for me. Um, it's a good song, it's a good song. It's a, it, like if you combine, I think the name of the song is Black. But do 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 do. So you you play that song and like this song, and there's kind of there's an evolution and a growth to it. Black is more raw and that yeah. and, and just you know, but that was when he was younger, and this one is more contemplative and simple and mm -hmm. and um. So it's just interesting stuff. So solid night for me. There you go. Then out. Sorry out. Gone. Someday we must go home Yeah, I'm a lucky man To count on both hands The ones I love Some folks, they got one Yeah, others, they got 